Hey, Godcuban here. And most cubers think that lefty algorithms are slow. But I disagree. And here's why. So the way this video is going to work is first I'm going to go over why people think using lefty algs makes you slow and why they're wrong. And then second, I'm going to go over why using lefty algs can actually make you faster. And then third, I'm going to share a trick that can help you turn left-handed faster. So some basic reasons why people don't use lefty algs is because they feel that their left hand is non-dominant, so it's just slower, and that it'll never be able to catch up to their right hand anyway. And since fast people just avoid using lefty algs and it works for them, obviously they're fast. So why not, why not just avoid lefty algs altogether and do what they do and get fast, right? That would work. Um, but the thing is that your left hand being non-dominant doesn't inherently make it slower. Um, it just means that you're going to favor your right hand more to begin with, and then your right hand's going to get more practice, and then you're going to get faster with your right hand, and your left hand's not going to improve as much. And then you're going to keep favoring your right hand and keep favoring your right hand, and eventually you're going to end up with quite unbalanced hands for a TPS. Um, and so that's why your left hand is slower, and it's just because you haven't practiced with your left hand as much, and that's really it. If you practice with your left hand, I think that it's reasonable to believe that you can catch up with your right hand. I think that people have done it, and people do it in soccer and in sports with their left left foot um, for shooting and passing and whatnot. It's, it's not a barrier that can't be overcome. And then fast people don't use lefty algs. Well, that's not even necessarily true. There are plenty of fast people who do use lefty algs, and I feel like once the lefty algs have done their work for you and improved your left-handed turning, and you're at an extremely high level of cubing where they're slowing you down, then maybe you can switch back to righty algs for those, um, for those cases. I think that there's definitely some sound arguments here that will show you that lefty algs can actually make your solves faster. So if you use CFOP or ZZ, then you're going to have to use your left hand to turn during other aspects of your solve other than your last layer. And so it's important to be good at turning with your left hand and finger tricking it for F2L and such, as you want to be able to do F2L fast. And this is something that a lot of top uh, solvers struggle with um, because they use all righty algs and they've trained their right hand to be really fast. Their left hand is falling behind and they need to train their left hand to catch up with their right hand. When this, I think, could all be avoided if they just use left hand, left hand algs for their last layer. Um, another reason is, <laughs> this is kind of a silly one, but, um, being smart, uh, there's that thing, you know, like where you, if you use your non-dominant hand to do more things, it makes neurons in your brain connect more and you, you, you're smarter. Uh, there's a thing like where you should brush your teeth with your left hand so that, because you learn to do something new and it makes you smarter, so yeah. And the third reason is that if you use lefty algs, then you're also probably using the righty alg for it. Um, that's what I'm talking about here, is using the left-handed alg for the mirror case. And that means that you have to actually learn less algorithms. If you learn the algorithm on your right hand, learning it on your left hand, you don't have to memorize the moves, you just have to finger trick it well. So I guess you, you still have to learn the finger tricks and practice it, but you don't actually have to learn more algs. So... With OLL, you can actually cut down the OLLs you have to learn from, like, 57 to somewhere in the 30s, I think. I think there's almost 20 different, um, different mirror cases. So that means that you can pretty much shave off one-third of what you have to learn for OLL by using lefty algs and mirror cases. So that's useful, which means that you can instead learn other algorithms or more alg sets. I'm not saying that learning less algorithms <laughs> makes you faster, um, but more algorithms and more alg sets can help you become faster. So maybe you could put those 20 other algorithms that you didn't have to learn towards learning COLL or something like that. Um, and I think that that's something that's useful. And so finally, here's just a tip to turn... Uh, faster and more effectively with your left hand and it's really a mindset thing and that's to think of the um, the moves not as L moves but as R wide moves and F moves or B moves or yeah you probably won't be using D moves if you're doing R wide instead of L um, and this is really applicable with your algorithms so something like a Nicholas which is 
typically done like this. You could think of more as that. By the way, I got that trick from Jaden McNeil. Also, a little disclaimer, I thought I'd put this at the end. Um, I'm not that fast, so all this speculation, I could be wrong. So sorry, I haven't been uploading very often lately, or actually at all lately. Um, I haven't been motivated to make videos, and if you'd like, subscribe, leave a comment. That would just make me feel a lot better um, and more motivated to make more videos. So I'd really appreciate that. And um, if you like this video, you might want to check out the finger trick notation video. It'll be linked here. And um, my two-side PLL recognition video, also linked here. All right. Bye.